The World's End is a 2013 comic science fiction film directed by Edgar Wright, written by Wright and Simon Pegg, and starring Pegg, Nick Frost, Paddy Considine, Martin Freeman, Eddie Marson and Rosamund Pike. The film follows a group of friends who discover an alien invasion during an epic pub crawl in their hometown. Wright has described the film as social science fiction in the tradition of John Wyndham and Samuel Ude John Christopher. It is the third and final film in the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy, following Shaun of the Dead 2004 and Hot Fuzz 2007. The film was produced by Relativity Media, Studio Canal, Big Talk Productions, and Working Title Films. It grossed $46.1 million against a $20 million budget. Topic. Plot Alcoholic Gary King persuades his estranged school friends Peter, Oliver, Stephen, and Andy, to complete the Golden Mile, a pub crawl encompassing the twelve pubs of their hometown of Newton Haven. The group attempted the crawl as teenagers, but failed to reach the final three pubs, including the World's End. In the second pub, they are joined by Oliver's sister Sam, whose affections Gary and Stephen fought over in school. Gary is refused entry to the third pub, having been barred as a teenager, but drinks beer left on a table outside. In the toilets of the fourth pub, Gary picks a fight with a teenager and knocks his head off, exposing him as an android. Gary's friends join him and fight more androids. Realizing the town population has been replaced with androids, they decide to continue the pub crawl so as not to arouse suspicion. At the seventh pub, Gary, Sam and Stephen get into a fight with androids impersonating Sam's twin friends. At the 8th pub, androids impersonating girls from their youth attempt to seduce Gary, Andy and Peter, while Basil, a local known for conspiracy theories, explains the details of the android invasion to Stephen. At the 9th pub, the group's old schoolteacher Guy Shepard encourages them to be replaced by androids. Andy notices that Oliver's birthmark, removed with laser treatment, has reappeared, meaning he has been replaced with an android so Andy smashes his head. Another fight breaks out and the group scatters. Gary and Sam escape and Gary tells her to leave for her safety. The remaining friends accuse each other of having been replaced by androids, but prove their humanity with scars and tattoos the androids lack. The androids capture Peter, but Gary is determined to finish the pub crawl. At the world's end, Andy confronts Gary, he realizes that Gary recently attempted suicide and clings to his goal of completing the mile due to his sense that he has not and cannot achieve anything else in life. As Andy tries to stop Gary from drawing his final pint, they discover a hidden chamber and reunite with Stephen. A disembodied alien entity, the network, tells them that the android invasion has been responsible for the technological advances in telecommunication over recent decades as part of a first step to joining a galactic community. It offers them eternal youth by becoming androids, but they refuse. Gary persuades them that humanity is too stupid to join the aliens. Exasperated, the network abandons the invasion. Sam arrives to drive the group out of Newton Haven as it self destructs. Some time later, the destruction of Newton Haven has triggered a worldwide electromagnetic pulse that destroyed all electrical power on Earth, sending humanity back to the Dark Ages. The remaining androids have reactivated and are mistrusted by surviving humans. 
Andy's marriage has recovered, Stephen is in a relationship with Sam, and android versions of Peter and Oliver have returned to a semblance of their former lives. In the ruins of Newton Haven, the now sober Gary enters a pub with the android versions of his younger friends and orders water. When the bartender refuses to serve androids, Gary leads his android friends into a brawl. Topic. Cast Topic. Development The World's End began as a screenplay titled Crawl about a group of teenagers on a pub crawl. It was written by Edgar Wright at the age of 21. He realized the idea could work with adult characters to capture the bittersweet feeling of returning to your hometown and feeling like a stranger. Wright said he wanted to satirize the strange homogeneous branding that becomes like a virus, explaining, this doesn't just extend to pubs, it's the same with cafes and restaurants. If you live in a small town and you move to London, which I did when I was 20, then when you go back out into the other small towns in England you go, oh my god, it's all the same, it's like body snatchers, literally our towns are being changed to death. In an interview for Entertainment Weekly, Peg told Clark Collis. People think we choose the genre first every time, and it's not true. We find the stories first. The notion of alienation from your hometown taken to its literal conclusion was how we got to science fiction. After the story was complete, Wright and Peg examined a list of real pub names and tried to make them like tarot cards. To foreshadow the events of the story. Wright explained, so we said, okay this one's the famous cock, because this is where Gary is trying to puff up his own importance. We did go through and work out in each one how the pub sign was going to relate. <laughs> Topic. Production. Principal photography for The World's End began on 28 September 2012. Filming took place in Hertfordshire, at Elstree Studios, Letchworth Garden City, and Wellen Garden City. Part of the film was also shot at High Wycombe Railway Station, Buckinghamshire. All 12 pubs in the film use identical signage on menus and walls, reflecting what Wright called that fake hand-written chalk. Common to modern British pubs. The exteriors of the real pubs were shot at locations in Wellen Garden City and Letchworth Garden City, with altered signage. Letchworth Garden City Railway Station got a makeover as the hole in the wall. Stunts were coordinated by Brad Allen of martial arts film director Jackie Chan's team. Wright said, In Drunken Master, Jackie Chan has to get drunk to fight, but this is more the idea of Dutch courage. You know, when you're kind of drunk and you think, ah, I can climb up that scaffolding, or just that you're impervious to pain. One of the things we talked about is this idea that the characters become better fighters the more oiled they get. The Broadway Cinema, Letchworth, a renovated independent cinema built in a quintessentially Art Deco style in the 1930s, was used to portray the Mermaid Pub. This cinema was also the first outside London to play the film, with a special introduction by Peg thanking the residents of Letchworth for their help during its making. Over 800 viewers watched the film at the cinema on its opening night. Topic. Soundtrack 
The film uses what the New York Post's Kyle Smith called a brilliant Madchester soundtrack, alternative rock and pop music from the time of the character's adolescence. Wright explained, A lot of those songs are ones that really hit me and Simon hard when we were that age. Gary is still living by those rules. It's like he decided to take loaded and I'm free to heart and thinks the party's never going to end. The soundtrack for the film was released on the 5th of August 2013 in the UK and the 20th of August 2013 in the United States with the film's score composed by Stephen Price released on the same day. The only songs featured in the film that did not make it onto the soundtrack are The Only One I Know, Summer's Magic, and The Only Rhyme That Bites, by The Charlatans, Mark Summers and 808 State respectively. The original soundtrack tributes the song No Opportunity Necessary, No Experience Needed. By yes, when the young characters reach the hills. Topic Track List In addition to songs featured in the movie, the album also features dialogue snippets. The track list for the soundtrack is as follows. Loaded Single edit Primal Scream 421 There's no other way Blur 319 Dialogue I put this on a tape for you Simon Pegg and Paddy Considine 009 I'm free The Soup Dragons 350 Step on Happy Mondays 514 Deluxe Version Bonus Track Dialogue Was the music too loud? Steve Oram and Simon Pegg 004 Deluxe Version Bonus Track So Young Suede 337 Old Red Eyes is Back The Beautiful South 332 Deluxe Version Bonus Track Dialogue. A Humble Taproom. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost 015 Deluxe Version Bonus Track. Come Home. Flood Mix James 353 Deluxe Version Bonus Track. Do You Remember the First Time? Pulp 422 Dialogue. Welcome. Simon Pegg 004 what You Do To Me. Teenage Fan Club 157. Fool's Gold. Single Edit The Stone Roses 415. Get A Life. Soul to Soul 336. Dialogue. We Have Changed. Nick Frost 007. This Is How It Feels. In Spiral Carpets 310 Deluxe Version Bonus Track Alabama Song Whiskey Bar The Doors 316 Wear Your Love Like Heaven Definition of Sound 343 Dialogue This is what the kids want Simon Pegg and Martin Freeman 007 Step Back in Time. Kylie Minogue 304 Deluxe Version Bonus Track. Join Our Club. Saint Etienne 315. Here's Where the Story Ends. The Sundays 352. Dialogue. I Hate This Town. Nick Frost 004. 20 Seconds to Comply. World's End Bomb Squad Mix Re-Edit Silver Bullet 435 This Corrosion Single Edit The Sisters of Mercy 421 Happy Hour The House Martins 221 
dialogue, Let's Boo Boo, Simon Pegg and Patty Considine, 024. Topic Release. The World's End premiered on the 10th of July 2013 at Leicester Square in London and was released on the 19th of July 2013 in the United Kingdom. It was released in the United States on the 23rd of August 2013. Topic. Reception Topic Box Office The World's End earned two million one hundred twenty two thousand two hundred eighty eight pounds during its UK opening weekend, losing the top spot to Monsters University. Its weekend grosses were higher than Shaun of the Dead's £1.6 million but lower than Hot Fuzz's £5.4 million. In the United States, the movie was released on 23 August and earned $3.5 million on its opening day, beating out The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones and Your Next. The World's End also had the highest per theatre average out of all films in theatres throughout the country on its opening day. On its opening weekend, the film landed in fourth place with $8,790,237, behind Lee Daniels' The Butler, We're the Millers, and The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. This exceeded box office expectations ranging from $7 million to $8.5 million, and The World's End's opening weekend earned the most out of all films in the Cornetto trilogy. Topic. Critical reception The review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes reported an 89% approval rating with a weighted average score of 7.4, 10 based on 218 reviews. The website's consensus reads, Madcap and heartfelt, Edgar Wright's apocalypse comedy The World's End benefits from the typically hilarious Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, with a plethora of supporting players. The film also holds a Metacritic score of 81 out of 100, indicating universal acclaim. Based on 45 collected reviews, Chris Nashawati of Entertainment Weekly gave the film a B+, praising it as hilarious and the best collaboration of Wright, Pegg and Frost, saying that these pint-swilling Peter Pans also know how to work the heart and the brain for belly laughs. The finale is a little too shaggy and silly. But what do you expect after a dozen beers? Mark Dinning of Empire Magazine gave the film four stars out of five, writing, Bravely refusing to rigidly adhere to a formula that has been so successful, right, Peg and Frost's Cornetto trilogy closer has tonal shifts you won't expect, but the same beating heart you've been craving. Movie blog Eat Praya Media gave the film four and a half stars, calling it dot the perfect antidote to big budget movie making. Henry Barnes of The Guardian gave the film four stars out of five, writing, With this final film they've slowed down a bit, grown up a lot. And saved the richest bite until last. Topic. Accolades The World's End received two Critics' Choice Movie Awards nominations, for Best Actor in a Comedy for Simon Pegg and for Best Comedy, but lost to The Wolf of Wall Street and American Hustle respectively.
The film won Best British Film at the 19th Empire Awards held in London in March 2014. It received nominations for three awards at the 40th Saturn Awards, Best International Film, Best Writing, and Best Actor for Peg. Topic. See also Index of drinking establishment-related articles <laughs>